what up my dudes it's friday morning and we have a slower morning today um braille's booked up but i have a little gap so i got a huge order in so i want to take you along on packaging it and showing you what i got Arms with towels, this is actually all I'm starting to slowly order things for the salon. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to keep all of these in here. Okay. I'm going to take this home. So these are all towels. Here we go. Plastic caps. So nice. So this is for one of my clients. Special ordered. Once we're in, once we're in the new space, I'll be able to carry way more hot tools on hand. Right now, we're working with obviously a little bit less space since I'm in a chair rental salon. But people just order them in if I want them. is for our grand opening these you can win so they're just little testers actually there's a lot in there this is a hand cream by surface it's amazing for eczema super dry skin stuff like that we got color color these are more minis for the grand opening someone's here hopefully it's brilliant These are more minis. These are all for the giveaways. And um, how cute are these? How cute. So cute. And these are my another favorite product. You'll also be able to win these at the grand opening. Little minis. And then this is just normal size. It's going to be in a giveaway. And then we got all this color. Not too much. Just to fill in a few gaps for the week. Last box. giveaway for everyone that buys product at the give, um, grand opening then you can win. These are some more minis that you can win. Got hairsprays. This is going to be part of the giveaway. It's going to be part of the giveaway. So are these. Hello. Bonjour. I'm vlogging. Oh. We got more minis. Yeah, just you? walked in. Yep. Yeah. I drew a princess card. Mm -hmm. Got lots of clips to win. Pew, pew. Oh my goodness. So many minis. Oh, cool. What are those for? The grand opening. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. These and pink ones. We're going to have a big wheel that you can spin and then you can win things. Wait, what? Oh, that's awesome. Mm hmm. Only the best. Only the best. Right. So I'm just repacking all of this tighter into just one box. Because as we know with shipping, they never... It just seems like they use a box per little thing. And that's annoying to have to carry in a million boxes. So, we got the giveaway 
and the I don't know, prizes, I guess, in here. And then this stuff is for in salon. And I'll put towels back in my car. And then I'm going to show you guys what else I'm doing this morning. So this is one of our cupboards where all of our stuff is shoved. Um, so my system, I reorganized yesterday because I just keep having more and more hair, which is the best problem. Um, so this is just like random hair. We use it for consults and stuff. Um, so this is my client's hair. Dang. This is my client's hair. Um, so she was complaining about, she felt one piece was kind of matted up in the back. So I had her come in. Um, and right by the base of her neck, one of the wefts, uh, or a section of the wefts, felt just really like dreaded almost. And so I just told her, let's take them out. She's due for a reinstall anyway. Take it out, have a few day break, wash her hair. And then um, these are her wefts. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to help um, just fix that one spot that was dreaded. Um, I should have videoed it when I first was doing it, but um, super easy fix and I'm gonna take you along. This is one of the pieces. I don't know how they're gonna be able to tell because it's mostly by feel. This part is so, like, it feels like tangles, but it came out so easily. So as I was looking closer and feeling it, it's actually just coated with product. So we're just gonna go over um, the washing maintenance again, just to make sure we're rinsing out the product correctly because it was just built up product in one spot, the base of her neck, which is the most common spot because that's where all the product rinses to. Um, so all we gotta do is do a color. We're gonna recolor them. As you can see, they're a bit uneven in spots because she decided to change the color once they were already installed. So where the wefts were really condensed, it just didn't quite color quite as dark. So we're just gonna rehab those for her and then give them a good wash and they'll be good as new. These are hand-tied wefts also. So nice. These are already been worn since early December and it's now mid-April, so still looking fabulous. Just needs a little bit of a color. So this is what we use for the extensions. Um, they just suction on to anything, well, as long as it works, but so sturdy. And then they have the teeth there, so we can color, wash, we can suction to the sink, and so that we can rinse them and do everything. So I'll just show you what it looks like once I have them all on here, and then I'll show you what I wash them with. So this is just three on there. Um, the color looks so wonky in this lighting, but anyway, you get the idea. So that's only three, but you can see how thick they are. And they're not like moving nicely like in here it looks like they're tangled but they're actually not it's just built up product so we're just going to shampoo smaller sections at a time to make sure we get all of that off and then redo this color a bit i have all the conditioner just sitting on just the ends avoiding the very root, but we're gonna rinse it really well anyway. So they're already looking so much happier and then we'll fully detangle and then recolor. So they're all nice again. So this is why people say you can't turn record this with one hand is so hard, but that is why you can't cut a hand tied. So this one probably snagged on her brush or something like that because it's just completely coming out so what she thought is her natural hair falling out which is obviously super scary after looking at her wefts i realized that one of them had been snagged and she had said that she was brushing it pretty hard one time and noticed it then so she probably just brushed a little too close to the weft and now this is just coming apart so this is why we go over the at-home care so much and this is why it's so much on the clock. So I had my phone turned the wrong way, but I just wanted to show you those few um, hand tied webs. She was experiencing what she thought was hair loss when, sorry, apparently they're just, all right. Um, anyway, so those two hand tied were actually kind of unraveled like you saw in that little clip. Um, so that is why she thought chunks of her hair were falling out. So at least it wasn't her natural. Um, but still sucks. Um, I tried to save the wefts that I could, um, but two were just already half unraveled, so there was no saving those. So I'm just gonna recolor these just to make it, focus, to make it just more even up here. And how we're, how we, there. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you my formula for that, and then she's coming in about a half hour, so I'll start her beadwork while these dry under the dryer. So yeah. I'm going to be using 646 there along with some 
additive of one one which is just straight ash um, just to help ash out a bit the four six is already pretty ashy um i'm just gonna do it on in this bottle and then i'll show you what it looks like <laughs> i need to clean this okay a whole bottle of six four six and then i'm gonna be pretty generous with the one one and then it's just one to one ratio just above two so it'll be just above four and i'm going to use my gel because it just spreads the best sorry braille's using the little the phone holder and i can't open this okay okay i got it i got it carpal tunnel it is so fun there we go and then i'm gonna mix it up and come right back over here to where the lips are. I'm gonna shake it really good to get that one one really mixed in. And I'm gonna be focusing it on the wefts. So this is why I love this thing so much is all the control and yes I should be wearing gloves. Just pretend that I am. Do as I say not as I do. Please and thank you. So then I'll just brush this through with a wet brush, work from our brush, um, just to make sure it's really worked through. I wanna leave the dimension on the ends, but I do wanna bring it pretty far down because her hair is this color. Um, but like I said, her hair was lighter and then we changed the color. Um, Brielle actually does her colors and her toners. So she just slapped on a darker one. So all the wefts that were on the outside were beautiful and perfect. Once I dissected them and took them apart for their treatment, see some of the little splotchy parts that are missed but you could never see them when they were installed so we're just fixing that up we'll be back so oh my flash is on fair enough so i got the root on i put one left at a time and the really cool thing about this is you can just kind of use the teeth as your guide like that and it's awesome and then you can actually kind of stick the needle in between the less same thing and then you can just kind of work it through. And now it's just easing because it's already <laughs> good. But And then I just blended it down with my finger and then used a comb. Um, and then combed it down. And then added water just to make sure that's diffused. So we'll let that sit and then I'll show you everything else. Alrighty, my dudes. So the salon started to get pretty busy. So I'm going to switch to a voiceover now. So these are the three products that I like to use on wefts before drying them. It's a heat protection, a style memory, and an oil. So this is her before. So you can see the base there was that 6-46 that we used on the top of the wefts. So just stay tuned to the end. I'm going to show the whole process. So this is her front, or not front, top section. And then that's with the beads in. So she wears two rows. So this is her second row sectioning and then the beads after as well. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because there's actually a sneak peek of our new salon. Um, we've been moved in for a week and a half now. I'm just catching up on vlogs. This is her after. You can see now that that base matches perfectly. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We have some new videos coming. I have a whole tour of our chair rental space and how I organized everything. And now enjoy the sneak peek of the salon that we are now in.